Hey everybody, let's talk in this video about accelerator sensor. You have to see the previous video before you start with this video. So accelerator sensor help you when you do application for gaming, like when someone moving the phone right, left, side, up, whatever. So uh, simple example about accelerator center, sensor that will, that what we will do in this uh, in this video is the numbers if you see the numbers application when you shock the the phone it he will look for some people around you so what we want to do i want when someone shock the phone you will uh, it will vibrate the phone will be vibrate in a specific threshold so first of all you have to understand how how the accelerator sensor will work so if you see his, if the phone will be in the up down in this way the y will be in the top one y minus will be in the down x plus will be in this side x minus will be in this side and z will be for minus in this way and z plus for this way so to get the speed from one point to one point i will check how much how much uh, the, when he when when he was here and then he when he was here then I get the difference I will get the speed. So when he shock his phone I will see first where's where he was then when he be and how much the time he spent to go from first point to ne next point then I put my threshold according to my threshold I will decide if this one considered as a shock or not. So. To get started first, I will use the previous video, just I will change here, instead of using internet, if you see here, instead of having internet here, I will use vibrate, so I will say vibrate, yes, because I need to make the phone vibrate. Also, I keep the accelerator here, I keep it as required. If you go here, I keep the sensor event, sensor 2, also everything here, I just change the type of the sensor to accelerator, this one. This type of the sensor will help me to get X, Y, Z for movement. So I keep the registration same and the unregistration same. Just I would change something in on change. If you see this is the event for on change, you have event dot value for zero. So now I want to do update. So let me remove this code and remove this one. I will say, okay, I will have integer for X will be value for zero and y z it's better to be float because the body are here in the float so x and i say for y will be this one so i say okay this is the y will be 4.1 and for the z will be 43 so for 2. so this way i could get x y z for a new point so whenever he moved to new point i have the new x y z but also you have to have the old value for x y z so float x old value you have to have it because you need to compare old with the new so just meet me copy this three lines so i will say x y and z so make x in this way and y in this way and make z in this way so you have three of them now i have all that new also I, it's better to have a threshold so i define a float three uh, so it's I would say my threshold will be 100 so if the speed be more than 100 or 1000 whatever when speed be more than 1000 I will vibrate my phone so here you go also I need the time that the time when he when he was in previously I would say long old time so because I need to get X, Y, Z in the, in the previous location as we discussed before we say okay we will take X, Y, Z previous location and we get the time when he was here then we get the X, Y, Z in the new location and we get the time when he was here then we get the difference to get the speed so yes I have X, Y, Z that is great so now I check the, the update the, the new time I say okay long for current time a call I would say the current time will be a call the system time so okay system dot get I would say get time in this way cure time millisecond cure what dot
system I would say system dot current time millisecond I just getting the time in millisecond so here I have the current time so I would say okay if the current time for example minus last update this one that I have it or all time that I have it for example I would check will be every more than 100 this I don't want because I don't want to check a lot so I say okay if the difference between the last time and the new time will be more than 100 so please execute this code because you now this code will be executed every time every sensor change whenever you move whenever and very very small value changing in the XYZ he will update it so I don't want to update it a lot I don't want to execute this code a lot I want to change everyone he spent time around like 100 uh, millisecond so okay execute this code so j just to keep my code clear this is the, the benefit from this line so okay if I get it so what I have to do first I need to get the different in time so I say long time diff how about the different in time I will say okay I will minus a new location from old location to get the different in time so now I have the different in time I want to get a speed so I will say okay uh, to get the speed I will say um, before a speed I have different time I need to update the old time okay the old time will be the new one the cured one because I need to when he go next check I have the new one the as old now I want to get the speed I say okay float for speed how I get the speed so I will tell you how let's first say okay math dot absolute because I need to get only positive value I will same x plus y plus z this is the new value then I take them from x for old value if you see x for old uh, minus x, y for old value then minus z for old value if I did this way for this one so I just subtract or sum them then I subtract them one from other then I divide all these results by the different in time then multiply them by 1000 to change them from a second so one two three four okay the benefit of this multiplication because here I'm using milliseconds so I want to change it back to second so okay I have three I just having first point then minus it from last point then getting the time but divide them by the time I could get the speed now so now I have the speed now that's great now okay I could execute my code depending on the speed okay say so, okay if the speed more than the threshold I have it I could do vibrate now there you go do your vibrate so how you do vibrate you say okay I vibrate vibrator I think yes V equal then you do vibrator you need to get system service I think yes you say okay vibrator so I get system service then once the system service you will get it you will get context did you, did you see there's many system service we use use it in this work so I'm using vibrator service then you could say okay v dot vibrate I want to make it vibrate for specific time for example 500 and you could also display a message say hey to ask dot make text get application context shock for example so to ask dot make text then so to ask dot long to make it then click show or you could do whatever you want to do now you understand now what I have just I get previous location and the time in that place then a new location and that time then I subtract them one from other dividing over the time I will get the speed then if the speed more than the threshold please do vibrate you could do whatever you want to like like for numbers here he go to the server and he get everyone doing this show so now try to run this application and see what you have and just try to run your uh, shock your phone by, by your hand and see what's happened here we go now this is the app before you run it on the device make sure you change the threshold to 3000 at least because less than 3000 you cannot see a shock so if i go see shock just do it again you will see a shock and to be 
uh, it will do uh, vibration. Yes, see, that is. That's what I want to show you. So please, before do this thing, make sure you change the threshold to 3000 at least.